Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I am Mufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell notification button to get notified each time I post. I'm working on posting twice a week now so click on the bell notification button so you don't miss any uploads from me and also guys I'm so so grateful for the support we are 10k now I'm so grateful like yesterday I didn't know like I just decided to go on the YouTube studio like I always go on there but at a particular point in time where I felt like a little low because there was a lot going on I just decided to go on the YouTube studio and I checked and I was at 10k 10,000 subscribers I didn't like even believe because I didn't think I was going to hit 10,000 subscribers this year guys because I don't know so I'm so grateful if you have joined the family if you haven't what are you waiting for what subscribing is free yeah uh, as per your request yesterday I posted a video on the community and then the YouTube community and then I asked you guys if you wanted to see another tutorial beginner friendly tutorial and you guys were like yes and then you guys suggested that I do like a whole video f with just affordable makeup. You guys know I, I got you. I got you when you need to, me to do like a drugstore beginner friendly makeup tutorial for you guys. Today that's what it's going to be all about. This is going to be another makeup tutorial for glam from um, eyebrows to lips. Um, using all affordable products drugstore products. Yeah, if you want to see how this video is going to go down carry on watching and let's just get right into it Okay, so I have a mirror in front of me It's like huge so I didn't want to put it directly under the camera otherwise it was going to shield part of your view so today we are going to start with brows and i just figured i just wanted to do something different because um not everybody is you know comfortable with doing their foundation first so today i'm going to start with brows but first of all i like to put some setting powder onto my brows because you guys know that i have extremely oily skin so I like to set my brows before you know doing anything else to me so um, I'm just going to be brushing my eyebrow hairs up and just figuring out the shape of my brows my brows are really really weird I have like brow hairs here and I have like basically non-existent uh, brows over here I'm sitting by the window. I don't know if you guys noticed. I changed my setup. I hope you guys like the setup. I'm just, you know, trying to work things around to figure out what I'm going to be making permanent um, on my, you know, setup. I'm a creature of habit. I don't like changing things at all. I get comfortable and I don't want to move. <laughs> so yeah, I am going to be using the Davis Cosmetics um, brow pencil liner. I always use this or so I use the Evita Joseph Espet Brow Liner. Looking um, to try other um, brow products. I literally just, you know, line the bottom part of my brows, following my natural brow shape, and I'm doing the same for the top part. Obviously, I, you know, put a little more product at the end of my eyebrows. I don't have any hairs there and um, when it comes to this side I just you know put light strokes because I'm just trying to fill them out and not to make them too thick so I'm going to do same for this brow just going to line the bottom part and then do the top part as well so I'm gonna go backwards I'm going to do the backwards here as well. Okay, my eyebrows look a little dark. This is why I avoid doing my eyebrows before everything because I just make it a little too dark and I don't know, I just go crazy with the brow products. 
if I didn't mention I use the Sasha buttercup setting powder when I was setting my brows that is an affordable um, powder as compared to the Laura Mercier I also have the Colourpop no filter um, setting powder but I can't seem to find it anywhere so of course there's the Maybelline Fit Me um, setting powder which is also amazing for the drugstore um, um, slash affordable options so I'm just you know putting a little more effort into fading out the side of the brows there are visitors in the house that's why if you can hear any noise please kindly ignore that for concealer I'm gonna go in with the LA Pro conceal in the shade fawn just going to use that to sculpt the bottom part of my brows I just put some concealer on here and I go ahead and start sculpting out my brows. You want to be really careful. Okay, I hope my brows look okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to do the same for this side. I said there was a lot of noise that's why I didn't um, talk through this part but what I did was to drag the concealer down my eyes and set it with the Sasha buttercup setting powder that I used to set my brows earlier I know my brows look a little crazy but we're going to go ahead and fix that soon I'm going in with the Remel London stay matte primer this is an amazing primer especially if you have um, really oily skin i have oily combination skin by the way so most of the products i'm going to be using is going to be um you know geared towards that um aspect also if you want your makeup to last longer um you can go ahead and use this product but of course you have to do your skincare before going ahead to apply um you know makeup onto your face so i'm just applying the primer wherever i need it onto my forehead I'm going to go ahead and you know set my face like I always do I'm using the same um, Sasha buttercup setting powder um, the foundation I'm going to be using today is the uh, Maybelline super stay full coverage foundation at the time where I was getting these foundations, I couldn't find my shade, so I had to get two to be able to mix up and get my exact shade. So I got the shade um, 334 Warm Sand and 356 Warm Coconut. And mixing these together gave me my perfect shade. The reason why I'm going in with a very full coverage foundation is because my skin doesn't look okay and I want this makeup to look as good as it can get so i'm going to go ahead and mix these shades and you know go ahead and apply them to my face so for um blending out my, my foundation today i'm going to be using the face aspect brush from real techniques it's an affordable brand so i'm going to go ahead and buff the foundation into my skin Go ahead and sculpt the top part of my brows with the remaining of the foundation at the back of my hand I'm going to be blending out my brows with the fluffy brush that I used earlier now my brows definitely do not look equal but I'm going to fix that in a bit this is why I don't like doing my brows before foundation but I still appreciate you guys so I want to do this in a different way because I know a lot of you do not know how to do your um, brows after foundation 
so yeah um you want to blend it out with a fluffy brush so that um you know you can maintain the shape of your eyebrows so um what i'm going to do next is to contour my face for contouring and highlighting i'm going to go ahead and use the ColourPop no filter concealer these are absolutely amazing and are affordable so you guys can go ahead and get that i was going to use the ColourPop no filter um foundation but i just figured i was going to insert these ones as concealer for highlighting so yeah um i'm going to go ahead and contour today this is very very dark so you want to be very very light-handed because it's very 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 pigmented very pigmented guys so um this is in the shade deep dark um 58 that is what it says over here so um I'm going to go ahead and blend out the contour you want to blend into your hairline so you want to blend your cheek bone contour upwards and not downwards because um, if you blend it downwards it's just going to drag your face you know down and the whole goal of um, contouring is to sculpt your face chisel your face and that is going to just mess up you, your face so yeah let's go ahead and do the same for this side I'm sorry there's a lot of noise going on like I said there are visitors in my house so I can't go and tell them to shut up if you're Ghanaian you know what I'm talking about. You have to let them make all the noise they want to make. So I'm going to be highlighting with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Dark 40. Let's go ahead and put that under my eyes. On the bridge of my nose. I definitely like this one. Oh. I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, let's go ahead and use um, another brush to apply it because I spoke too soon. I said I like the wand, and then the wand broke on me. So, let's apply that over here as well, and then over here. So to blend it out, I'm going to be using my setting brush from Real Techniques. I'm just going to buff it into my skin. This foundation dries fast, so you want to work fast. That's why I didn't let it stick on my feet. go ahead and go in with a beauty blender to blend everything out okay guys remember I showed you this technique of how to fix your highlighter going over your contour I'm gonna go back in with a brush that I used to just go over the areas that I contoured to just bring the um, concealer back to its base with no extra product I'm just using the same brush I used so to contour my nose I'm gonna go back in with the um, Colourpop concealer the dark concealer I'm gonna be really really light-handed with this product because I told you guys it's quite pigmented I'm just going to put it at the top here so I can blend it downwards like so so I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, beauty blender to just buff this out I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I'm just going to push that into my skin. I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and set my eyebrows as well. You guys know the drill. And just push some extra into my eyelid. I'm going to go ahead and bake. You guys know the drill. Before I do my eye makeup, I always bake. So I'm just going to... and leave the powder from the sides of my nose to the side of my face I also like to bake the side of my face just to do the reverse contour and the sides of my mouth because um, you guys know I don't I crease there so yeah so the noise is getting a little out of hand so for the rest of the makeup I'm going to be doing a voiceover I'm so sorry guys but yeah I don't want this tutorial to have a lot of distractions in it so I'm going to go ahead and do a voiceover for you guys so I'm going straight into that um, warm brown shade I'm gonna put that into my crease and blend it out I'm gonna do the same for the other eye and I'm gonna go back into the palettes the palettes um, the shades are not named so pay attention I'm going into that dark cool tone brown I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid I just press it onto my eyelids make sure that it doesn't climb onto your crease I'm gonna go back into my transition color I'm going to go back and blend that into my crease again to just make it look seamless okay guys um <clears throat> so i took a long break and i am back i was doing a voiceover previously but now all the noise has stopped hopefully it's going to stay that way and i was using the revolution eyeshadow palette um this eyeshadow palette is one of my favorite palettes and it's on the affordable side so what I'm going to do is going to use all the eyeshadow colors I used on my top lashes and to use them on my bottom lashes. So I'm going to start with the darker shade, which was this shade right here. Yeah, so I'm going to put that onto my lower lash line. And I'm going to go in with... I need a fluffier brush okay so i'm gonna go in with this shade which was my transition shade i'm going to put that and smoke out my lower lash line some more okay this is going to be a really really easy um trick for doing um like a a uh, liquid liner if you're not really skilled and if you don't have the precision to do a liquid liner this is going to be easy for you you want to go in with a black eyeshadow and go i want to go in with a really small brush and you're just going to just put it as close to your lash line as possible now it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to just you're just creating a base for your um eyelash that you're going to be applying so you just want to you know um just put it as close to your lash line as possible now you're going to go ahead and tight line your eyes i, I spoke about this trick the other day you just want to put the um pencil black eyeliner in between your eyelids and drag it back and forth like so should be really easy you want to do the same for the other side this is a really easy trick that i use because not everybody's comfortable you know doing this to your eyes and putting it in there so yeah um i'm going to go ahead and go in with a color pop eye uh, mascara i almost said eyelashes i'm just going to coat my eyelashes just a little bit so guys whilst i let my eyelashes dry down i'm going to just you know dust off the excess um setting powder on my face with the la pro face um powder 
in the shade warm caramel i'm just gonna go in with my real techniques um powder brush i'm just going to use that to dust up the excess powder on my face and just you know um make everything come together beautifully of course i'm gonna go in with a smaller brush on the um the side of my face so just gonna go ahead and use the evita joseph contour powder right and just use that to dust off the powder on this side of my face this power this brush is really really um amazing for doing so many things i actually really really like it um so yeah as you can see it's been able to dust off the excess powder on my face let me fix up this camera So yeah, this um, brush is amazing. For um, bronzing, I'm going to be going in with the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Bronzer in the shade uh, Ebony. I'm going to use that to bronze my face. For bronzing, you want to be really, really careful because this product is very, very um, pigmented. So yeah, um, something sticking in my eye. I don't know what it is, but yeah. I'm just using this bronzer to just go over the places where I contoured. It's very, very pigmented. I really like this bronzer. It's one of my all-time favorites. I really, really like it. For contouring my nose, I'm going to be going in with a brush. It's a synthetic brush from Zueva. It has been with me for the longest time. I'm just going to go over the area where I, you know, contoured my nose earlier which might have gotten a little lost let me just apply my lashes real quick before they dry completely down for applying lashes you want to have a mirror um, underneath your chin kind of and then you would just want to put it on top or as close to your lash line as possible if the glue is tacky it will stick right when you put it and you just want to go in and you know fix the areas where I want to show you guys exactly what it looks like when we are fixing eyelashes because it's not always easy fixing eyelashes so it was definitely easier fixing this one now you want to go in and just press your eyelashes as close as possible So for blush, I'm going in with a blush brush from Real Techniques and I'm going in with a Milani Big Blush. This is another affordable brand and also very pigmented. I'm going in with a shade Red Vinyl. I'm just going to generously put it on my cheekbones. I like a lot of blush, guys. I just want to smile and put it all the way up like so. I also like to put a little blush on my nose so for setting spray this is not exactly affordable but it's affordable it's not drugstore but it's affordable this is the morphe continuous setting mist this is a great setting spray if you can afford it go ahead and get it i'm going to go ahead and spritz it all over my face This stuff is bomb. I love this stuff. While we go ahead and wait for the setting spray to um, dry down, I'm going to be doing my favorite dark lip combo. I want this to be like a monochromatic makeup look. Um, this means that the eye would kind of match the lips. So, um, for the area around my lip i'm gonna be um contouring or sculpting out my lip or lining my lip with the true matte nikak new york um lip liquid matte lipstick in the shade obejin or Beijing. i don't know how to pronounce that word so please correct me if i'm wrong so i'm just going to put that all over the outer part of my lip Now 
I can just go ahead and line your lips with a dark brown lip liner but my eyes are more on the warmer side that's why I'm using these um, lipsticks they are all affordable by the way so I'm going to go ahead and go in with the next um, NYX lingerie in the shade um what's the shade called i don't know i have to find it teddy in the shade teddy i love this stuff i love it so much i'm going to go ahead and put that in the middle part of my lip yeah i absolutely um love this stuff from nyx the nyx lingerie Lip NYX lingerie. <laughs> I know I'm completely butchering the name, but um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the NYX soft uh, matte lip cream in the shade London. I'm gonna put that on the center of my lip. And just smack your lips together. So the previous look, I did like a glossy lip. So today I'm focusing on doing a matte lip, which should, you know, go with the eyes like so. What I'm going to do next is to highlight. I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Comb Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. I'm just going to put that into my inner corners. And of course, my brow bone. And then the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose as well and then my um cupid's bow and then i'm gonna put that on the high points of my cheekbones so i'm gonna go ahead and use some brow gel all over my brows to keep my brow hairs up and in place my brows look a little darker than usual because i did them before my foundation but i don't really mind because this is a stronger makeup look this is almost a fall inspired makeup look but this is another look that i created for beginners for my girls who like a more brown darker makeup look i think that i'm going to go in with this um brown lip liner uh, okay guys i'm gonna go in with, with one last spritz of the morphe continuous setting spray And also, we are not going to leave our lower lashes bold. I'm going to apply some um, mascara. I'm going to use a mirror so I don't mess it up. If you don't make faces when you're applying mascara, then you're not applying it properly. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is the final look. My mirror is here. I told you guys earlier. So if I keep looking here, it's because mirror is here my skin is obviously really textured but please don't pay mind to that it's gonna get better soon inshallah because i'm working on it but i just had to put this video out there for you guys um everything i used on my face is completely affordable to you know the most of us and yeah this is almost fall inspired if you ask me so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hanging out with me today do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and also leave a nice comment down below i really appreciate it and also subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to turn on the bell notification button if you haven't like i said earlier i'm going to be plan i'm planning to be uploading twice a week so i'm not sure of the days yet so yeah, if you don't want to miss an upload from me, kindly click on the bell notification buttons. Also follow me on my Instagram at goldmuslima. I'm more active on there if I don't upload here. And I mostly ask questions for, for, um, for video suggestions from you guys on there as well. So yeah, follow me on there. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.